June 16, 2019. It's been five years since my life was completely changed. I was just a kid. I sold and left everything that was mine to live a life as your disciple, carrying my cross and leaving everyone behind. I held on to Luke 14, 26. I stepped into your calling and trusted you to carry me through. I left my family, my friends, my dreams, and my ambitions. I told you, Lord, I trust you. Take all of me until only you remain. I was just a kid, full of life and full of hope, not understanding the journey I was embarking on and what of me would be lost. You said, this is the lives and salvations of others on the line. Take up your cross, crucify your flesh, and follow me. To which I replied, there are lives to be changed and souls to be won. I will do my part and serve you. It won't be easy, things are going to be hard, but this is what I'm called to do. Here I am, Lord, send me. I booked a one-way ticket and boarded that plane to Haiti. I knew the road would be hard, but I counted up the cost and went ahead anyway. I was just a young girl with limited life experience. I loved the life that you called me to, although I had to leave everyone and everything I ever knew. It was a love story that you designed, but what I never saw coming was the woman you had for me to become in mind. The first year started all fun and games. I was living the island life and soaking in all the memories that could be made. I didn't have a care in the world. I just trusted in you and was proud of your calling over my life. That year was filled with many great moments, but it was also a time that was filled with great tribulations in which I had to trust in you. I was hospitalized with a disease that doctors couldn't diagnose. Hospital staff walked in the room in hazmat suits and my door was blocked off with caution tape. They were scared of what I brought back from Haiti, that unknown place. But you healed me anyway. Five days I laid in the hospital bed, scared of what my fate may be, but you saw me and carried me through all of the way. That year I lost five people, all in very tragic ways. I was across the ocean and couldn't be there for the ones I loved who were grieving. But you were there to comfort me and embrace me as I processed through such great loss. As darkness fought its fight, I learned a dependency on you which came with a great cost. I rode through gang roadblocks on the back of a motorcycle. As we entered into the capital, they saw that I was white and tried to snatch me off as the driver rode away. Coming back home, I had to ride in a truck filled with gang members for my protection. We made the journey back through a banana field as gang members walked alongside our truck. Even in that moment, I knew you were beside me, your hand of protection over me, and nothing could come against me. That year, I also found love, the man you had set aside. I am so undeserving of the love that was displayed for me. We were young and in love, seeing no trials that couldn't be overcome. Year two was one to be remembered. There were good times and bad times, which is to be expected. Watson and I dove into our ministry, seeking all the plans you had for us. He also asked for my hand in marriage. I was so thrilled that I had found a man who loves you more than me, or even himself. At the time, I didn't realize Satan was crafting a plan in hopes to still kill and destroy everything you had in plan. But once again, you prevailed as we chose to lean into your protecting hand. I was enjoying my life here, taking in every moment, growing and maturing into the woman you desired me to become, pouring into the lives here and seeing you move in radical ways, and embracing this beautiful culture you designed, thankful they took me in as one of their own. My parents came to Haiti. It was their first time meeting the man who would take my hand. I was proud to show them this place, what was slowly taking my heart from them. To see their daughter walking in your will, a price they are willing to pay. To end my second year here, my family and friends flew in to celebrate the union that was to be made. Watson and I became one. It was a time in history I had dreamt about since I was a little girl. It was everything I ever imagined it to be, and I was able to marry the man you had set apart for me. It was a union for the glory of you. We were both running after your kingdom, focused on combating the darkness and all of their wicked schemes, trusting that you would be with us every step of the way. 
We also found out we were expecting a child. We were thrilled and excited to add another to our team. We both desired a big family and this would be the first of many. We trusted you to help us be everything we needed to be in order for that child to see you. Year three was filled with family, friends, and memories, new beginnings, and new adventures. We focused on our ministry and showing others who you truly are. We found out we were having a baby boy, a child that would be so loved and welcomed into this crazy family. Through great trial and tribulation, he was brought into the world eight weeks early in VSC section. Watson was unable to be by my side, but you were there holding me as I cried. I returned back to Haiti as the gang slowly took over. We focused on you and your kingdom. We pushed through the darkness and everything it desired to bring. We continued to love and knew only through you would we see a victory. Year four was challenging. This is when my faith and growth was truly put to the test. The darkness desired to win the fight. The gang shut down the country. We entered into a crisis that was the worst of history. Gang members took the port where gas was held, which prevented us from getting drinking water. We had to ration what we could find and trust that you would provide. I couldn't find formula f to feed my baby boy. We found some just in time. All glory be to you. The gangs were ravishing, raping, murdering everyone in sight. It was a darkness that can't be explained, an evil that only had destruction in mind. We continued pushing through and loving along the way. We were stuck inside and dwelled in the haven that you provided for us. After 1.5 years, I was finally reunited with my family. <laughs> I took a charter plane and flew over gang territory. My family was thrilled to see me once again, although the timing wasn't ideal since I was living in a country at war. I told them I was expecting another beautiful gift that would surely change our world. We're pregnant together. Shut you up. After I returned, someone came into our home and stole everything that we had saved. A feeling of invasion that only few can truly explain. I had to process through the violation that they came into the place where my child slept. I would have nightmares of the unimaginable. I would wake up screaming and crying, thinking they were in my window looking at me as I slept. I was terrified of the darkness and fearful of the unknown. This was a journey you had to walk us through. We became strong in our faith and waged through the war that was ahead of us. I know the darkness was a part of my story for a reason. Through it all, you held my hand and helped me become the warrior that required the strength to stand. Year five is where I found my true strength. As I prepared to leave my husband once again to have our second child, I begged and pleaded that you would make a way for him to be there. I told you I couldn't do it on my own. You told me no matter what happens, he should not be the source of my strength. I went to America and had a beautiful baby boy. I chose to have a home birth and knew I would discover a dependency on you that I never once knew. This was indeed to be true. Once I made it past that season, I was truly transformed and made new. Due to the gangs controlling Haiti, I didn't know how I would return to my husband and make it home. You told me you would make a way. I was petrified as I knew I would have to take a vehicle through gang territory. I pleaded that your hand would be over us and no darkness would come against me or my family. Once again, you made a way. A way for me to return home when others told me to stay. This year has been filled with beautiful moments as we tried to live despite the darkness around us. We've had to navigate through being a family of four while also walking in the plans you have for us. Being a mom has been one of the greatest callings of my life. It helped me to lay down all of my selfish desires and focus on what truly matters. They are truly my greatest gifts. I pray that you continue to lead and guide me so I can give them my best. Five years in Haiti has pushed and changed me in every single way. I barely remember that girl who boarded that plane. I'm thankful for her and how you transformed, but if she could see us now, 
She couldn't fathom all that you had in store. She didn't understand that stepping onto that plane would not only transform her life, but also the generations to come. I wouldn't go back. I wouldn't change a moment. Through the hardships and trials, I see it's all made to be a part of a bigger plan. Thank you for guiding me and transforming me. Thank you for being patient as my faith continued to grow. Thank you for loving me through my anger, grief, and doubts. Thank you for calling me to be your disciple. Thank you for giving me the strength to stand. This journey has been more than I ever imagined it to be. Through all the darkness, you took my hand and held me. I love you more than I ever have before. I pray that I can be a representation of your love and grace and all that it entails. Allow me to show others what it looks like to surrender all and seek your face. It's not about how perfect we can be. It's about admitting we are imperfect and that you choose to love us anyway. I've seeked the depths of who you truly are. Through those moments, I have been transformed. I stepped into my calling, knowing there would be sacrifices to be made. I knew there would be things of me that would be lost along the way, but I never could have imagined all that would be gained. This is the life of surrendering to you. It's been simply radical in every single way.